What it do, y'all? It's your boy, Mad Fisherman. So, look, in this video, I went yellow perch fishing on the Potomac. They started finally moving in on the creeks, and um, I got into them real good, real good. Um, also, after this video, I posted another video on how I clean my yellow perch. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. I do it Eskimo style. It's pretty dope. Um, anywho, so as far as these yellow perch, I like to use slip bobbers. Um, reason why I like to use slip bobbers because I can adjust that bobber until it um, hits the bottom. Once it hits the, the bottom and the weight is on the bottom, the bobber will lay flat on the water. So all you got to do is just take your bobber stopper, bring it down, inch it down closer and closer to the bobber until it just starts to sit up. So I, I start, I'll start as deep as it is, as deep as it possible as I can go. So the bobber sits sideways and then I'll move it, move it, move the bobber stopper foot down towards the bobber. See if that make it sit up. That'll make it sit up. Move it another foot down. See if that make it sit up. That'll make it sit up. Move it another foot down until it sits up and it stays up. Once I know it's up, that means my split shot isn't making contact with the dirt anymore so that minnow is either just off the bottom or the minnow is dragging on the bottom but the split shot isn't making contact with the bottom now as far as the minnow i set my split shot six inches away from that minnow that way that minnow can only move in a six inch circle around that split shot keeps them in the strike zone i like to use bobbers a lot of people use like the bottom fish for them i like to use bobbers because i want my bobber to slide across the water work my way into these fish you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the fish might not be moving. If the fish coming to me, I'm going to come to them. And um, also when I use minnows, I like to hook them through the jaw. But I like to look. You get look real close. You can see their nostrils. I like to bring it to the little jaw and out the nostril. Um, at a point in the video, you'll see me how, how I hook them in there. But yeah, enjoy the yellow perch video, man. I know I enjoyed that day. I had a heck of a day. That day was awesome. That day was awesome. I've been gone, man. <clears throat> All right, so guys, when I'm using minnows, I'd like to keep bobber six inches away. I mean, split shot six inches away. The reason why I do that is because that fish can only swim in a radius of that six inches. So when he's down there in the strike zone, it only it can only do this. That's the furthest it could go. So it's staying in the strike zone longer. Jumbo yellow. That's what we're here for, folks. That's what we're here for, folks. Uh, little old baby. I wish I'd have brought my bump board. It'd have been a whole lot easier than to try to measure these jumps on the ground. Push up in there as well. Texas gold, that's what we want. Yeah, but. There's another good one. All right. I'm putting the biggest <laughs> in that bucket too on there. <laughs> That's it, only seven. Three, six, seven, yep, only seven. All 
Yeah, I think that's how we get them, folks. Just like that. Had to bring out the little baby rod today. Bring out a little bay. Yeah, I know he not. There you go, big one. There you go. Ooh. That's better. That's much better. I use fours. Four. Yes, sir. We got Dorsion, the gentleman next to Dorsion. Get them guys go. Yeah. 